Okay, in today's video, I want to show you how to add your sheets together. Sometimes, uh, you know, people use the different sheets for maybe a different month or a different year or a different department. And I want to show you a simple and easy way to add your sheets together. Notice in this workbook, I have sheet 2011, sheet 2012, and 2013. And I would like to be able to add those together in the total sheet. So I want to click on the total sheet. And you can see it's completely blank. Well, some people would put formulas in here to add the sheets together, uh, but there's better ways. Uh, I'm going to pick on cell A3. I'm going to pick on the data menu. Then I'm going to come over here, and this great fe feature is called Consolidate. The whole purpose of consolidation is to add your sheets together. Now, first of all, when you see this new window, you can do different functions. Sum, count, average, minimum, maximum, even standard deviation and variance. Quite frankly, most of the time when I use this feature, I either use sum, count, or average, but the other ones are available. So I'll pick on sum. Now I'm going to pick where it says reference, and what you do is you go to your first sheet that you want to add up. I'm going to peek on sheet 2011. Then you highlight the range. I'm going to start from A3 to I9. Now notice the reason I'm starting on A3 is because uh, the first row of my selected data contains my column headings, and the first column contains my row headings. That's exactly where I'm starting on cell A3. Now I'm back to this window. Now what you want to do is you make sure you pick on Add after each sheet. And then it's going to wind up in the All References area. Then I'm going to pick on the second sheet I want to add up, which is 2012. Notice how it, it assumed that you want to use the same range, and we do, because they're laid out in a similar way. Uh, I'm going to pick on Add. Now I'll pick on sheet 2013. Notice how it assumes that uh, you want to use the same range, and we do, because they're laid out in a similar way. I'm going to pick on Add again. So you keep on doing that for as many sheets as you actually have. Now, by the way, if the different sheets have different column headings or different row headings, it'll still work. It'll add up the rows and columns that are similar, but if they're different, it'll, it'll show those as well. So don't worry about if the sheets are not exactly the same, it'll still work. So you, you pick as many sheets as you wanted to, and after each sheet you pick on Add. Then they're all going to wind up in the All References area. Now if you notice the way my data is laid out, my labels are on the top row, and my labels are on the left column, and that's exactly where I started in cell A3. Now notice this choice over here. What that means is if um, I want the total sheet to update when the individual sheets uh, change, then that's what that choice means right there. So this is called data consolidation under the data menu. You get, you get the screen, usually you pick on some, but the other calculations are available. You pick the first sheet that you want to add up, including the range. And then uh, after each sheet, you pick on add. You repeat that for as many sheets as you wanted to. So they all wind up in the all references area. And then down here, usually I'll pick on the, the labels in the top row, left column, and I'll say create links to the source data. I'm going to click on OK. Now, uh, you know, I'm going to expand those columns because of the uh, pound signs. Now, I'm going to expand column A so I can see the row headings as well. So, this should be the total of the three sheets. Uh, let's see, I'm going to click here, and it, it says the total for sales and marketing and advertising for January is 41,375. So let's go back to sheet 2011. So I have 12,500 plus 13,750 plus 15,125. And if we added those together, we will get the 41,375. So you can see it really is adding the sheets together. And this wasn't that difficult to do. It's just called data consolidation. Now notice these plus signs over here on the right hand side, or excuse me, on the left hand side. When you click on one of those, it'll then show the details for the other sheets. And that's why that really, if you notice the formula, that's where it's linking to, to the sheet. That's why if the original sheets change, then the total will also change. So you can expand those or collapse those. Usually I would have this collapsed. But now we have a great way to add your sheets together within Excel that's called data consolidation.